Hello and welcome back to Take Refuge 3D with me Peter. Now in this video I'm going to cover my first thoughts on Axnerbs which is an upcoming third party plugin that will be featured for free in the next major studio release of Plasticity. Now if you've been thinking about purchasing Plasticity or if you've been on the fence I'm happy to announce that Take Refuge 3D is now a Plasticity affiliate and if you use the code REFUGE10 at checkout you can get a 10% discount on either the studio or indie license. You get a nice discount and it helps the channel. Now just before we crack on with my first impressions of Xnobs, I think it's important to highlight that there are differences between the indie version and the studio version of Plasticity. I've been on the indie uh, version for almost a year since Plasticity was released um, and I didn't see much of a need to upgrade to the studio license as I am a self-taught artist that makes a small amount of extra income from 3D. However, when the news dropped that the third-party plugin Xnerbs was only going to be in the studio version, my interest was peaked a bit. Now, it is important to understand that the indie and studio versions are distinct products. And the studio version is feature complete and the indie version is more like a basic version, basic and pro if you will. So the indie version has all the tools that you would need as a hobbyist or freelancer and the studio version comes with extra powerful tools for experts and professionals such as the Xnerbs plugin when it gets uh, released in the stable. Studio also comes with other perks like getting access to the beta while the plasticity team develop and experiment with features which is what I'm using in the video, the beta version. The indie version is 149 US dollars and the studio version is 299 US dollars. And as Xnerbs is going to be in the upcoming release of the studio version and maybe to some limited degree in the indie version from what I've heard, it's important to put that price in context. In other software Xnerbs is a plugin that you buy separately on top of the software. So in Rhino or Rhinoceros, which is another CAD software, Xnerbs costs $395 USD as a plugin, and Rhino costs $995 US dollars. So that's about $1400 USD almost. So $299 versus $1400. I think that's quite great value for a great CAD software but it's also important to mention here that Rhino is a more mature software than Plasticity and Plasticity is quite new but is evolving very rapidly with lots of new features. So all of that aside let's have a look at Xnerbs and to put Xnerbs in context what we'll first do is we'll look at other workflows so we'll just look at a straight loft okay. that's done okay so we've got that and that's that's cool all right we'll get that out of the way now for the next one we'll do what's probably more common for surfacing we'll do a bit of a combo of lofting and patching and i know that these aren't the best example i just sort of put these together very quickly they're just sort of um they're not great but uh, so let's say we loft uh this as a g1 and we loft this as a g1 okay and then we can uh, join these all together all right and then we can use a patch in here okay and I think a G0 there and a G oh, sorry a G1 no, G0 will do actually what we'll do we'll just mirror this along the um, On top okay so we got that now um, what we can maybe do if we're lucky is try and patch that in yep okay and then we can mirror it along the other side okay F delete redundant report topology okay F redundant topology okay so we're starting to get these different pipes um, that's not awesome. Let's see if we can get another nice patch in here. No, that's okay. That's fine how it is. This is just for an example of 
how we would work with different things. Obviously, you'd find different ways around that to problem solve that. We're not getting the same solution, but I just want to show you how we would use XNURBS. So you can go into your F search menu and type X. Uh, so XNURBS there. Um, I've got a shortcut on my keyboard, so I'll just use that. And we can just start, start going like this. And just start selecting edges and then we can do this and we can do that and then we can just once again um, mirror it Q redundant topology and there we've got it so I think you can see that X nerves especially with the one that we did with lofting and patching is not but with these two side by side um, look at the result they were all pretty much as quick as each other and I feel like we got much better uh, surface um, around on that but you could then start to I don't know do more kind of patching like this kind of patching here and see what you come up with all right but if we just go back a few steps and we'll turn on our zebra stripes okay looking from above x nerves over here we're getting kind of pretty much straight lines nice curves no break up in the curves obviously we could you know spend more time on this guy and get some you know other ways of doing that but if you look at this over here um, we're getting this perfect transition even on this edge here where this transition is kind of broken over here so um, yeah it's great um, is it worth to you $150 because if you're just a hobbyist artist um, then maybe something like this is more than enough okay if you are a professional artist getting these kind of little uh, creases like that you could still achieve that with this workflow by the way it'll just take quite a few more steps um, and this was very quick this was very quick and this is only sort of like I'm only scratching the surface here there's nothing um, there's there's more to it this is just my first impressions now um, I like it um, so who is XNURBS for, right? So the way I see it is XNURBS is for three different types of users. Okay, your super pro users, professional designers that need the best tools to get the job done, um, that need perfect reflections in their renders and, you know, beautiful things. The people who make Ducatis and Vespers and Lamborghinis and all of those kinds of things. The second person is someone like me, not a super pro, but someone who actually makes a little bit of money from 3D and the time-saving aspect of getting a nice result, it pays for itself, especially at the, you know, 299 price frame. So that is, um, you know, the other type of person that might want to use it. Uh, not really a hobbyist anymore, but maybe like a freelancer or, or, or somebody like me um, that, that sees the benefit in it that wants to be able to have access to it and is prepared to pay for it and the third person that would want this is the kind of person and we all probably know one of them somebody who owns a 4090 and uses it to pay counter-strike at 1080p the kind of the person that always wants the best of the best but doesn't really know how to use it to its full potential so you know those people always exist they're always going to want everything even if it's useless to them the type of people who you know buy the top insurance even if they don't need that level of cover you know they exist so if you're just using plasticity to make some cool sci-fi designs and muck around in 3d okay and maybe do a bit of 3d printing the indie license is perfect for you if you're a professional that needs access to more powerful tools or you just want access to all of the tools um then the studio ones for you so i'll see you in the next one choose